Must must have been the wind. <laughs> What's this? Looks like a switch. It is. <laughs> One of the options uh, for the switch was scary. Don't. <laughs> okay, here we go. We got a door open. Yeah, I don't believe in uh, closed off rooms. Hello! So Are you another illusion? Nah, this one's real. I can't believe it. I go all the way out to fucking China and you're still here. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine meeting you in a place like, now's not the time for flirting, let's get you and get out. Ark, just pick her up and run! Is this a dream? Hey. What this? Oh, it's, uh, it's a faggot. <laughs> Sorry, boy! I harbor yeah, no ill fun. will, but this is my business. I always wanted to see how good you were. This is a good opportunity. But you won't get to fight because Fide is here too. Bye! <laughs> you step Fide's one... Gonna with shithead. <laughs> you step one step closer and I'm gonna make you a skinhead. Then we'll see how your reddit friends will talk to you. <laughs> okay. So now we have to escape the castle. Ooh, you can't there's a new place it. nearby that delivers food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I went looking for the pizza place, which is on menu log, and it gives <laughs> Do you, you the pizza, to do a pizza challenge. <laughs> so I'm fucking hungry because you've mentioned pizza like twenty times. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm thinking if I have to censor that or not. <laughs> I think you might need to. <laughs> <laughs> God fucking damn it all the hell. Well, which nation would be the winner of a challenge? Do I even want to say it out loud? I don't think I want to know. <laughs> God damn it! I can't stop laughing, it's so dark! <laughs> it's such a good joke, but fucking hell! <laughs> My god, it's so dark I need to be in, in fucking daylight to tell this joke. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, that fucking joke! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm keeping it uncensored. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, why not? It'll just get banned in Germany. <laughs> anyway, while we were laughing at uh, <laughs> history's uh, darkest <laughs> moment... <laughs> uh, Fida and Roy, the, the blue-haired guy, have decided to become friends. I can't stop laughing at her! It's just so fucking unapologetically dark as shit. Why are you staying behind? You're the one being rescued here. Because she's being a fucking asshole. Well, yeah, like uh, I said, Ark, you should have just picked her up and run. Well, yeah, uh, Fida and Roid are now friends, actually. We kind of skipped that while we were dying from the inside. <laughs> <laughs> if Dr. Baruga oh, and Moss find out, he'd be super angry. Roid, you catch Ellie and dispose of those mouse right now. So the mastermind is Baruga. Now we know the name. What are you saying? If you not go now, you fire! You couldn't have not known. In that work you call preparation, many people have died. Among them, my closest friend. Oh, we're getting his backstory! What you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. King Henry is already dead. There's just you and that Baruga you mentioned. No hasty, stop! How about I teach you about... <laughs> the... 
And so Roid teaches our good old friend Wong about <laughs> the pizza challenge. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> 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 You know what the problem with that joke is? What? We're gonna laugh our asses off referencing it every other goddamn playthrough we do. I know. And then let, until Terra Digma, this episode actually fucking comes out, no one's gonna know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what the fuck happened to the drawbridge? <laughs> Look! I don't know, it was kind of always like that. No, it wasn't. It didn't have a fucking hole in it. What yes, happened? It <laughs> no, I mean the yeah, top like one. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean that one. Fuck it, why not? What the hell? That's a big hole. If somebody's gonna walk right through that, I'm gonna be disappointed. <sighs> the castle suddenly collapsed and we were shot up the drain. Yo, bro, you okay? I'm glad you're safe. I heard in town the price of metal is coming back down. Wow, that was quick. Already? <laughs> That's not the way a stock market works. You come see Will too. You'll be amazed at what he's making. I tried to ask. <laughs> he's making pizza. <laughs> no! God damn it, now I can't look at pizza the same way after this shit. Ah, uh, fuck it, I'm gonna order a bunch of food from that new place. I might get some pizza too. <laughs> it's not pizza, this one's Indian and Thai. Oh, so you're lucky then. I'm kinda craving I'm for a pizza. <laughs> I'm craving for pizza too, but I'm just like, I really wanna try out this new place, especially since they do a bunch of stuff that the other Indian place here doesn't. I'm gonna buy like $70 worth of stuff. <laughs> Save it for a couple of <laughs> I can't stop laughing at the joke! It's just so fucking dark! God damn it, all the hell. The problem is we can't repeat it on any servers we share but yours because it's gonna get us banned. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the secret must be kept hidden. <laughs> Oh well, at least this one will be a, a bit less underwhelming than the secret of Luxembourg special. <laughs> anyway, uh, Wong is now very happy that Wong has been destroyed, and he will do business. That's good enough for us. What did he actually sell? Uh, crap. <laughs> I think he sold. Uh, Metal and uh, ginseng, at least the, that's the two things that you care about. What a random fucking store! But he made money. <laughs> it's creeping back into my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, Jesus, forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> For I have made fun of your actions. <laughs> oh, um, what do you have to say? Ten percent economic growth. <laughs> okay. Listen, Ark, it's finished. My airplane. Metal became available again. I should never already? give up my dreams. Again, already? You try you try flying. They give you a bunch of instructions, fly. but uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, sure, we know you've been able to do ships and all the rest of it by uh, yourself. Somehow. Let's just give you a fucking airplane. You don't need fuel for it, what's fuel? Since when was that there? They just put it down. <laughs> Neat. How do I get on this thing? Uh, you're supposed to press L, I believe. Or something I like that. I'm going too high. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway. We have airplane now. 
Awesome! If you think you can land wherever you want, you're wrong! On, you can only land on airstrips. Luckily, there is one airstrip that we can land on right now. Hey, Polynesian people, check this shit out! <laughs> <laughs> How freaky is that gotta be for people who don't know what an airplane is? Just all of a sudden, just... Yeah, just uh, cue that uh, Assassin's Creed 2 mission where you're supposed to fly with a wingsuit. <laughs> and then crash. <laughs> Shoot the flying demon? Siberia. I heard that's a pretty good series of games, but I've never tried them. Siberia? Yeah. I didn't know there were games called Siberia. I like touchdown. Siberia. Oh wait, these games. Yeah, I remember S Y Beria. Yeah. Um. Oh, de released January two thousand and two. It is a third-person, mouse-driven, semi-realistic, semi-surrealist adventure game in which you play and solve various puzzles and certain procedures in order to storyline the procedure. Oh, so it sounds kind—it looks sounds kind of like um, uh, Dreamfall or something like that. Sure makes you I'm feel old, this doesn't it? It's good. It really does. This king came out when I was ten. Fuck! I'm going to be twenty-seven this year. Jesus Christ! How do we land this? Oh, here we go. I was I just, just really mashing buttons. Old. <laughs> then you touch down on the mode seven graphics. It's suddenly, suddenly you're playing a uh, Ace of Spades. <laughs> <laughs> What's that place? Oh, there's a little village, and there's a big car. Hmm, it's mosque. And there's oh, it's Moth. And there's the Ku Klux Klan here for some reason. Um. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's um. Mm. Just mm. Have you come to try the pizza challenge? <laughs> I think they'd be very happy to show you the pizza challenge. He is our savior, Baruga. He invented the challenge. Beruga is preparing to save this corrupted world. Uh, neat. Who the fuck is he? And why does he look so mad? For more about Beruga, go to Disciples Quarters. You will come to understand his greatness. Do you seek Beruga's word? Sure. Hello, is this the Ku Klux Klan convention? May I have a seat here? This is our great lord and savior, Martin Luther King. <laughs> Wait a minute. Baruga once won a Nobel Peace Prize for new biotechnology theories. He perfected DNA engineering to fully cure recurring diseases. Since then, he has dedicated himself to the study of immortality. All humans shun silence and fear the dark. Why? Because they all fear death. A playwright once claimed this. People are born crying. Well, true enough I suppose. To die and... Yeah, we kind of are. To die and for a new life to be born come with a unimaginable pain. When all are immortal, change will cease and peace will come. That doesn't sound like a good thing. In fact, I've heard a similar idea from Arcanum. It was also not a good thing. You shall soon awaken in this world. Let us pray. I'd rather not. Uh, this was very uh, intellectually stimulating, but uh, I'm afraid I'm not autistic enough for this. Jesus. I'm afraid I'm not racist enough for this shit. Fucking clue clue. Who? I'm sorry, but how do you not. How do you design that and not realize the severe, severe implications of the outfit? Like, I get that the Ku Klux Klan is tiny. <laughs> God damn it. But it's the. God damn it, these two are there. 
But at the same time, I'm still just going, I'm sorry, but how do you design a game that has that as an outfit? And they're talking about, like, uh, uh, Your support of our inn funds the Pizza Challenge Foundation. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Every time you mention it, you get extra five millenniums in hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm already going to hell for all the fucking time, so... And I think I already racked up twenty. <laughs> What the? Is this a shop? Oh, it is a shop. What do you have? <laughs> hate water. <laughs> and some Seriously, red armor. hate water? Well, it's supposed to be holy water, but it, it's ah. just H water, so it might as well be anything. <laughs> Could be hot water. Or it could be uh, Jorgen's uh, worst nightmare. And so Alex Jones's worst nightmare. Homo water. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see what else we can be going to. It's the to. chemical that's in the water and turned the frickin' frogs gay. Ah. It's the chemical, it's the secret chemical. Wow, Siberia is uh, remarkably uninteresting to look at. It sure has a lot of mountains, though. Like, a lot more mountains than I recall. What about this cave? Hmm, I bet it has loot. This doesn't look like loot. This looks like nothing. What about this? Eh. <coughs> well, maybe this will have some loot. Wow, look at that. It's the block rod. Interesting how I have enough space for this fucking weapon, but not the other one, not the freeway thingy. Sometimes this game just does not seem to care, but it has four additional slots to use for weapons or armor. I don't get why. Ah yes, the rod suggests that uh, it changes defense to... Uh, wait, what, what was it again? Changes strength into defense. Well, that's not necessarily true. I don't think it's uh, like changes it. I think it just takes some of your strength and attaches it to defense. But I think you still retain the same strength values from before. So it's not like you lost strength. It's just that some of it is being channeled into defense so that you would have more defense. Which is neat, but uh, you probably want to find a replacement weapon soon, since it's not that neat. <coughs> anyway, we don't really have anywhere else to go besides this uh, castle, which is a lab. A lab of Boruga. The lab at the moment is completely silent. There isn't even any light, so we shall shed some light in this situation. First things first though, we gotta find a power generator. This could be it. Looks like it is. We got some light. Light isn't enough though, we also need some power for the lift. And most of every other thing around here. Let's see, let's see. It can be a bit uh, annoying to navigate around here, but just remember that you're able to crawl underneath pipes, which are darker in color. Something which the game, of course, isn't gonna let you know about uh, right away, but once you realize that, uh, your uh, movement options are a lot broader. 
Careful with the robots. I believe they have. Uh, a... uh, hold up a second. Go back. Yeah. You missed something. Yeah. Go back to that section, just not there, but the one down. There's a way to crawl through the northern wall, right close to where you claw crawl through it again. This room here. Right there, underneath. Oh. There you go. Yeah, I believe the robots have uh, a special debuff which uh, reduces your strength for a little bit, which is not nice. There you go, soul armor. It's one of only two things in this actual area. Deflects death curses. That's good. That's pretty good. Uh, the other one is a defense potion, and the rest of them are just absolutely other, like no other treasures. The the soul armor also comes with complimentary mixtape. <laughs> yeah, if you go all the way down there and around, that, did that guy just teleport? Nah, he exploded. Oh. If you go all the way down this section and around, you'll get to another switch you have to press, and I'm guessing it's going to be the switch for the elevator. Yep. This place has some Which... fairly unusual enemies, actually. I gotta ask, why put the switch for the elevator, like, 300 meters away from the elevator? Like, in what universe does that make sense? I suppose it would make sense here, because this area isn't supposed to be manned by people. It's supposed to be fully automated. So for the robots, it wouldn't make any difference how close or far away the switch really is. And I then, guess so, if the robots were operating out of a hive mind or something. Then again, they they probably... Just like, hey, Poop, hey Dave, can you go flip the switch? Then again, they probably would either keep the switch on the entire time, or they probably would just have someone stationed at the switch. Maybe it's the guy you killed just outside the switch door. Well, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now well, we can this use is the elevator. elevator door. And this is the highest floor, so you can't go any higher than this. Yeah. I, I think you've got to go all the way down to the bottom first. I want to say that this is probably just a loading screen, because this elevator takes a while to go down. It's a Mass Effect elevator. Just splice in random dialogue from Mass Effect. Nobody will tell the difference. <laughs> Nobody would. Why do they have traffic lights in the fucking base? There's Who no traffic knows? here. Okay, this area you've apparently got a lot of teleporters. Ah, uh, get but... ready. <laughs> get ready the for thing... a teleportation. The thing is, oh fuck, hi. There's a lot of these guys. Fucking pigs. <laughs> oh, bye there, Jesus! You just fucking one shot that bloke. Hello. Teleportation, yeah. yeah. So you come to a room with a bunch of them. Uh, just over here. All of them just connect to each other. The four that you're gonna find just connect to each other. Nothing else. Oh, hello! We're now up level 29. Nice. <laughs> Bird up free. <laughs> yeah, get this shit out of the way. Okay, so you're gonna have to go into this one. Or just go straight past it. Fuck it, why not? Yeet! Hey, what this? It's where the switch is. Later. <laughs> it's the only way to progress. You can't do anything in this room aside from teleport between two different things. Teleportation, dear! Shittiest technology. It'll literally, yeah, yeah it'll literally <laughs> just teleport you 10 feet, man. The wonders of teleportation. <laughs> the wonders of teleport. I can't be asked moving 10 feet. Fuck. You might not want to fight near the door. 